Yes, thank you, Comics here representing Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. I'm Mark, aka the Bagging and Boarding Bad Boy. Today I have a review for Hit Girl issue number five. And this closes out this arc. This takes place in between Kick Ass 1 and Kick Ass 2. This is a five part miniseries in between those two books. And it's ultra violent, it's ultra bloody, it's really gory. Uh, still really well done though. And it's basically Hit Girl taking out. Uh, mob boss uh, Ralphie Genovese and like his entire gang she's wiping them out bloody fashion like every single member she's taken out in a different way sledgehammers uh, I think one person gets ran through a wood chipper blood everywhere like I said really violent and uh, she takes out his whole gang like I said and then you see um, Red Mist of course in this as well uh, Red Mist has been training with this dojo of ninjas and he's basically trying to be like Batman. He wants to take down Kick-Ass and Hit-Girl. Wants to become like Batman, so he's training at this dojo. And it's really funny, this dojo knows he's a rich kid. And they're just basically milking him for money. And like trying to get all these extravagant gifts with the money they're getting off of him. And like everything he wants to learn, they come up with like a price for him to learn and everything. So really cool, really funny. And then he finally gets wise to what's going on. He's like, the heck with y'all. I am going to go just hire a bodyguard to kill Kick-Ass and Hit-Girl. I'm not even going to mess with this. It's too much work. So that's where he's at with this. And then you have Hit-Girl in this. She's been, of course, wrestling with her family, her mother and her father. Mother doesn't really know that she's being Hit-Girl, but the stepfather, Marcus, who is a detective, a cop, he, uh, he knows that she's going out and being a superhero, and he's worried that the mom's going to get pushed over the edge by him, freak out by it. So he's, like, really been on her about not being hit girl. And uh, you see her turn over a new leaf here. Like, uh, she handles her business, and then she now is just going to train superheroes. Spoiler alert. She just now says she's just going to train superheroes because they haven't said anything about that. So she's going to whip kick ass into shape and she's like sparked a whole new genre of people who want to become superheroes which is one of the best things about this book such a, a cool aspect in a comic book is uh, regular people rising up and being vigilantes and superheroes I love that and then this end spoiler it again I'm gonna spoil the ending not a, a big deal if you've read kick ass too but uh Red Mist is like chilling at a club he's all he's all buzzed and everything and it finally hits him who Kick-Ass really is, and he finally remembers his name, so that's where this ends. Really good if you can stomach all the gore and the violence. I don't so much like it for all the gore and the violence, but I just think it's really well done, really well written. I like Mark Millar's writing, so I would have to give Hit Girl issue number five a four out of five. All right, guys, till next review, stay action-packed, and may your stack be fat.